Kiki Palmer is accusing her ex Darius Jackson of domestic violence. The 30-year-old is requesting the sole custody of her 8-month-old son, Leotis, whom she shares with Darius, after alleging that the child's father has been physically abusive on multiple occasions. Kiki's request for a temporary restraining order against Darius, filed in Los Angeles Superior Court on November 9th, was granted by Judge Wendy L. Wilcox, according to a notice obtained by NBC News. Kiki, whose real name is Lauren Kiana Palmer, alleges that the abuse happened throughout her two-year relationship with Darius and did not stop after their breakup, which she says occurred in October. In the court documents obtained by NBC News, she writes that since the split, Darius is, quote, even more unhinged, volatile, and dangerous, and she fears for her and their son's safety. Because of the alleged abuse, Kiki filed for the temporary restraining order while seeking sole custody of their eight-month-old son. The petition for the restraining order asks that Darius be prohibited from contacting Kiki and Leo and stay at least 100 yards away from them. Kiki wrote in the court documents, quote, It is because of our son Leo that I was finally able to end my relationship with Darius once and for all and escape the abuse. Leo is the most important thing in the entire world to me. He needs and deserves to be safe and grow up in an environment free from violence. In the documents, Kiki alleges that Darius has abused her multiple times over a two-year period. Kiki says there were many instances of physical violence, including striking and grabbing me around the neck, descriptions of Darius destroying my personal property, including diaries and prescription eyeglasses, throwing my belongings into the street, throwing my car keys to prevent me from driving away, hitting me in front of our son, spewing profanities about me to our son, threatening to kill himself with a gun if I left, harassment, and other physical and emotional abuse. Both Kiki Palmer and Darius Jackson declined to comment when contacted by NBC News.